So have we lost the art of conversation? Well, that's what our book is about this week, Reclaiming Conversation. And obviously this is a much discussed uh, area, especially with parents, I think, and uh, youngsters, but, but a lot more than that. Because we are so involved in the social media, because we all have our iPhones seemingly on 24-7 and in front of us at all times and can't uh, stop ourselves from going to it every five seconds, have we lost the ability to communicate with one another when what we think we're doing in the, the social media is communicating more. That's uh, the issue that's raised in this book. And I think uh, the evidence that she show, talks about and shows in this book, we are losing the ability to communicate. Um, and we spend a lot of time misunderstanding one another because the way in which we do it through social media prevents any interaction going on so that we had a clear understanding of what the other person is saying or desiring or wants us to hear. Um, I'm, I've always been a firm believer that one of the most important things that families ever do is sit down to dinner on a regular basis with no television on, with no phones on, and just sit and eat and talk. If there's very little that's more important to the growth of a child maturity and regarding relationships than that sort of regularity and uh, commonality that takes place when you do that at dinner. That's kind of what we're talking about here. Can you put the phone away when you go out to eat with somebody uh, and have lunch? What is the impact of having that phone sitting on the table? Because there is an impact. Whether you use it or not, the fact you take it out and sit it on the table when you're with somebody else it defines how the conversation you have with that person is going to take place. Those are the sorts of things that are discussed in this book. It, it's really interesting. It's disconcerting at times as to what we may be doing to one another in terms of relationships and not even knowing that we're doing it. Uh, but it's there. It's there. It needs to be talked about and thought about. And that is what this book is about. Can we regain, reclaim conversation? and do it in a civil way. I think this one's really worth, uh, really worth taking to heart, and it may change uh, the way in which you conduct yourself regarding social media activities and personal relationships. Reclaiming Conversation are hitting the books.